वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ व्हाट्सएप इंफॉर्मेशन नेटवर्क मेडिकल एजुकेशन इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द इफेक्टिव स्ट्रैटेजीज इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ प्राइमरी पलमनरी हाइपरटेंशन एज वी नो प्राइमरी पलमनरी हाइपरटेंशन इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट कंडीशन टू ट्रीट एंड हैज गॉट वेरी पुअर प्रोग्नोसिस एज टू ऑफ द रजिस्ट्रीज दैट इज द फ्रेंच रजिस्ट्री एंड द एन आई एच रजिस्ट्री शो a 3 year survival of 58% and a 4 year survival of 38% there are various limitations with currently available treatments the commonly used drugs like sildenafil target only certain pathways and they are associated with various side effects the other drugs like bosentan have problem of hepatotoxicity and therefore need to be discontinued in a significant number of patients and therefore there is a need for a safer and effective drug basically there are various pathways in the vascular pathophysiology one of these is an endothelin pathway endothelin acts through two types of receptors the a receptors and the b receptors the activation of endothelin a receptor causes vasoconstriction proliferation hypertrophy fibrosis and cell migration the activation of b receptors causes release of nitric oxide prostacycline and vasodilatation and also has anti proliferative properties amrisentan is a selective endothelin a receptor antagonist by blocking the endothelin a receptors it negates the vasoconstriction proliferation hypertrophy and cell migration and allows for nitric oxide release vasodilatation and anti proliferative properties the clinical trials conducted for the effectiveness of amrisentan are basically aries group of trials these two trials tried with various doses from 2.5 to 10 mg of amrisentan show a significant improvement in the 6 minute walking distance the 10 mg dose is the most effective and significantly improves the 6 minute walking distance Not only there is a improvement in walking distance but fewer patients report clinical worsening in both Aries 1 and Aries 2 trial. The BNP concentrations are reduced to the magnitude of 30 to 45%. The common side effects include nasal congestion and peripheral edema. One of the greatest advantage of amrisentan over bosentan is that it does not cause liver enzyme elevation and hepatic dysfunction and therefore rarely needs to be discontinued because of side effects apart from the short term effects amrisentan has also shown to have significant improvements in hemodynamic parameters over 2 years with a decrease in mean pulmonary artery pressure the vascular resistance and improvement in cardiac index the improvement in the 6 minute walking distance is maintained over a period of 2 years in long term studies and 72% patients were free from clinical worsening over a period of 2 years looking at these great benefits of amrisentan and considering the fact that you rarely need to discontinue the drug due to the side effects especially the hepatic dysfunction amrisentan is one of the most effective weapons in treating primary pulmonary hypertension apart from primary pulmonary hypertension amrisentan has also been shown to be very effective in certain secondary causes of pulmonary hypertension the dose of amrisentan should be started from 2.5 mg and can be up titrated to 10 mg it is always however better to start with a dose of 5 mg so next time you have a patient with primary pulmonary hypertension do consider amrisentan in the primary treatment of the pulmonary hypertension